Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Mama May Plays Minecraft. I'm Mama May and I am going to be doing something a little bit different in um, this upcoming series. So I'm going to do Minecraft Basics. And just so you guys are not sitting here looking at my title screen this whole time, I'm going to go ahead and get right into it and I'll talk to you a little bit about what I'm doing as we get started. So what we're going to do today is uh, start up a brand new world, not um, modified in any way. And the only thing I'm going to do on this front screen is go ahead and click um, to allow cheats. So we're going to turn that on and we're just going to hit create world and I'll talk about all the other options that we have um, as we go along. So what I am intending to do is create a series for people who either don't already play Minecraft and are wanting to get into it, or they have people in their lives that do play Minecraft, children, friends, coworkers, and maybe you're not really into wanting to get to play this game yourself but that you actually want to kind of understand what's going on and what they're talking about, some of the lingo, some of the vocabulary, and maybe some of the on-screen moves so you can just kind of see what they're talking about. So to make things a little bit easier, as we start, I'm gonna put on screen um, my mouse and my keyboard movements. So uh, bear with me while I get that turned on for you. So you should be able to see a mini keyboard and it's only showing you the pertinent keys, so I don't have to have the full screen across, and the, um, the mouse. So when I click my mouse, you should be able to see the flash, okay, of whichever mouse. And the movement in the game is primarily the W, which moves me forward, and you should see that flashing on the screen. Backwards is S, okay, let me get to a flat part here. And you can see the sidestep where I move to the right without turning direction and I move to the left are the D and A keys. Okay. If I want to jump in place, I'm going to use the space bar. Okay. And if I want to move forward and jump, I'm going to hit W and space together. All right. So we have started a brand new world and I am using my mouse to turn to the left as I move my mouse to right and left my um, movement on the screen moves me left and right all right so it's a little bit of lecture I want to familiarize you with a few um, details before we get moving in the game so the first thing that you might want to get used to is the F3 the function 3 key F3 and it does a lot of things but once you click it just by itself, or press it rather, you'll see a few things that um, are happening. And up on the left hand side, you'll see where it says block chunk facing south. The block tells you exactly your coordinates. So I'm standing on the block and it's actually not the block I'm looking at, it's the block I am occupying at my feet level. So I'm gonna show you my character using the F5 key. So F5 one time shows you the back of your character. So as you move back or draw back, you can see the character's back. So if I were to move forward, you can see me move, moving, okay? If I hit F5 one more time, that takes me into looking at my character. So this is how a lot of players um, do their YouTube videos where they show you Hi, I'm talking to you, okay? And what I'm doing with my hand there is I'm punching, but since there's nothing in front of me to punch, it just looks like I'm waving, hi. Okay, so if I hit F5 one more time, it's my, back to that first person point of view. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm actually going to um, hit F5 two more times so that you can see my body the top half of my body and the bottom half of my body actually um, takes up the space of two blocks. And actually it's really great that I'm standing on this hill because you can see the block behind me and the block behind and to the 
well, from this point of view to the right of me, behind me, that's two blocks high and you can see I'm the same height. So the block that I'm standing on, 43, 64, negative 208, that is the block that my lower half is occupying. Okay, we'll come back to that later. It's not a big deal, but I just want to point out that um, the first thing that we do when we are playing in a single player world and we have just opened a new world and what we call spawned in, I believe I was standing here, is we take out some blocks. And to do that, we punch, and that's a left mouse click. So I just broke that piece of uh, grass growth. So now I'm gonna go ahead and break this dirt, okay? I like to make a cross. I also like to make it a long cross. So I will break out a block here and here. And now normally I would break out uh, behind me as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. There's no need to change my habits. But because I'm on a hill, it looks kind of odd, okay? But now I have several blocks in my hand. Okay, so this is called my inventory. My inventory can actually hold quite a lot more than just these nine slots. So if I hit E on the keyboard, you can see, well look, there's a little miniature me, and these slots are for armor. So when I do acquire some armor, I can put them on my body and protect myself. I can hold 27 things in my inventory plus nine more. So that's 36 items, but the things that are in this lower bar, I can access simply by, let me go back out, so I just hit either E again or escape. I can just roll scroll bar, I mean the scroll wheel on my mouse through this hot bar and I can access anything in my hot bar or I can even do it with keyboard shortcuts using the one through nine keys. So um, one corresponds to the bo uh, box I'm in, two to the next one, etc. Okay. Now, unfortunately, because of my um, keyboard uh, display, you're not gonna see me um, push the five through nine keys, but trust me, when I access those, I'm either accessing it through my hotbar, okay, or I'm accessing it through uh, the one through nine keys by uh, scrolling or using the numbers. All right, so the first thing we do when we enter a new world is look around, explore. Um, I've been using up some of my time to describe what I'm doing for movement, but the day has been passing, okay? So where is my start area? Oh, there's my little cross-shaped indentation. So the other thing that I do is I like to take the blocks that I have and I place them. So that's what Minecraft is. It is a game of breaking blocks and um, <clears throat> placing them. So I'm gonna share with you a little joke that I had with my son at the time he was four or five. I did not know how to place blocks bigger than three. So here I'm a little bit taller than where I'm at so I could place lower than three. But as you place blocks, okay, there's one, there's two. Now I could jump, okay, and put another block on top of that one. But now what? I can't jump and I can't reach that high. So I used to want a stair step. So I'll make a block here, jump on there, right? But what if I didn't have enough blocks in my hand? What if I only had 10 or 11 blocks and I wanted to make something 10 or 11 high? Or in my case at the time, I was trying to look around and see over some trees. And my son goes, mama, just jump in place. And I'm like, okay, I'm jumping in place. Now what? He goes, no, mom, jump and place. What I didn't know was you could look straight down at your ground, jump, and while you're in the air, you can place a block under you and land on it. This is called pillaring. Okay, so you're making a pillar, so you're pillaring up. So this allows you to look around as well. Okay. The, 
<clears throat> direction you always face when you enter a new world is south. So if I hit the F3 key again, you can see I'm facing south. In Minecraft, for some reason, <clears throat> the positive X and Z directions, Y is your up and down coordinate. So it's X, Y, Z. So the X coordinate is east, okay? Negative X, 180 degrees, is west, okay? Positive Z is south, and negative Z is north, okay? So that's our orientation. And I'm probably gonna take a little bit of damage here. I'm gonna jump off my pillar. Um, or if I wanted to conserve these dirt blocks, I could punch them again and pick them back up, but I don't want to. This also makes a great um, landmark so I can see where spawn point is. We'll talk a little bit more about spawn another time. I want to just get us moving. As you can see, the sun is setting and this is not a good thing for us. So what I'm going to do is I am going to show you a couple of different game modes and difficulties for a little bit. Okay, if I allow that sun to go down all the way, okay, um, monsters are going to start showing up and I haven't done anything to protect myself yet. So I'm going to go ahead and drop myself into creative mode. So let's talk about modes and difficulties. So we have cheats on so I can do this. So I'm going to change my game mode to Creative, Spectator, Survival, and Adventure. We're going to go to Creative for now, and then I'll talk a little bit about each of the um, <clears throat> different modes. So the game mode that we came in on was called Survival. And Survival is a little bit dangerous because um, you don't have any special abilities. Um, if you noticed, let me switch back and forth for just a minute, okay? so. Hopefully no mobs will show up and kill me. In this five seconds, I'm gonna show you my screen. In survival mode, you see that I have hearts and um, what looks like chicken drumsticks. That's my hunger bar. So your health and hunger bar. I'm gonna switch right back into creative mode. Okay. And you see that those things um, go away, the little hearts and the little chicken drumsticks. And the reason they go away is they're irrelevant, okay? Um, I can still die if I do something silly like um, hold myself under water, okay? Uh, no, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I think I, there are certain ways that you can die, but I'm gonna show you going into water is not one of them. So if I go into water, I can stay down here as long as I want, look around, do whatever I need, because, um, again, we're in creative mode, so I cannot drown, All right? I think I can't die by lava either, so self-correction already in this first episode, cannot die by water. Now, um, <clears throat> in creative mode, uh, I'm going to sit here and talk to you for a little bit. There are four different modes. We don't use adventure mode a lot. That's for people who create what we call maps, um, worlds for multiplayer, and they allow other people to come in and maybe run a quest or, or do a puzzle or something. That's adventure mode. So we're not going to talk about that. Creative and spectator. Let me go into spectator mode for a, a little bit. Creative, I'm still interacting with the world, okay? Hello, monster. That's a zombie. Hi, how are you doing? So if I were to walk up to this wall, okay, in creative mode, I can't move past it because it's actually a physical thing and I'm a physical thing, okay? In creative, there is a feature that I can use called flying, okay, that you can't do in survival. And this is a double jump, a double space. So I'm gonna tap space twice. And now I'm, if I hold space, I go up, 
If I hold shift, I go down. This is a feature you cannot do in survival, okay? It just allows you to uh, cover distance a little bit quicker, okay? And it also allows you to um, obviously get out of holes. So this hole here <clears throat> is one space deep, one block deep. I can jump out of it. You cannot jump two blocks or even one and a half blocks. There are one and a half block places. Hello, skeleton. Hello, creeper. Okay. These are monsters. We call them mobs for short. All right. Now the thing about, um, <clears throat> we will be going into, hello turtle. This is a passive mob. We will be going into survival and showing you what um, you can do in survival. You, you saw me punch those uh, dirt blocks and they came into my inventory. In creative mode, if you punch something, it disappears. And then um, it does not go into your inventory. However, I'm gonna hit E for inventory. Remember when I showed you E before, it only showed you my slots. When you're in creative mode, you have access to every block in the game. So for example, if I wanted to put that dirt block back, look at my inventory. There's one dirt block in there, but when I place it, that dirt block doesn't go away, okay? So basically what creative mode is great for is to create things, build things. This is a build game after all. And so if I wanted to build a house, for example, and I just wanted to build this really atrocious looking one block house so that I had some place to go in and hide. Okay, I could do that really quickly and creative. And then as I think this thing is really ugly, I'm going to go ahead and remove it. This is the essential basics of Minecraft, placing and breaking blocks. In creative, you have access to everything. So if I wanted to build a really fancy house with um, specific kinds of wood or logs or combinations, I can do so, okay? Uh, let's see, what other benefits do I have in creative? Creative, that's pretty much it. Well, we'll talk more about the different um, modes, definitely. But right now, I just wanted to kind of um, give you guys a quick introduction without getting killed by these monsters. So the final thing I want to show you is spectator mode. And these are different kinds of cheating modes, but not really. So it depends on what you're doing. If you just want to survive Minecraft, then you don't want to go into creative and spectator. But if you're going to be um, sharing this world later with some teammates or some people you want to invite, then you need to check out a little bit about what's going on in the world. <clears throat> so this mode is um, spectator and it allows you to see underground so you can phase through the ground or any other material. So watch this. this um, if you notice my little crossbar is gone, my toolbar is gone because I'm not interacting with the world. I'm not part of the world. So I am going through this pillar, okay, like a ghost. I'm a specter. I'm a spectator, meaning I'm looking from the sidelines, but some people miss, um, quote the mode as specter mode because you are basically a ghost. Now I'm gonna, it's the same with um, creative. Space bar is going up, shift is going down, but I can shift past the ground. So I'm gonna go through the ground and I can see in the ground um, cave formations, lava pools, geodes, that purple uh, mixture down there, okay? Abandoned mine shafts, strongholds, which I would be spectacularly lucky if there was a stronghold right here where I entered the world, right here where I spawned. Dungeons. So um, this is a great way to <clears throat> find out where the resources are. 
So I had just floated by some uh, iron right here. Okay, so if I were to dig down and go this way a little bit, I can find an iron. Okay, so we're gonna find um, our resources the honest and, and true way, but I just wanted to show you the modes. Now we're gonna talk about difficulty. There are a few levels of difficulty. So let me go ahead and pull up the menu so we can see easy, hard, normal, and peaceful. <clears throat> peaceful, so I usually play on normal, okay? I personally, it's just like um, stereos, I can't tell the diff diff difference between really high quality stereos and decent stereos. So I play between um, easy and normal. <clears throat> so I play normal because to me, I can't tell the difference. But peaceful, let me go ahead and do this. If you guys would keep your eyes on the zombies over here, okay? And there's, a, I think, a creeper or a zombie in the background there. When I hit peaceful, they will disappear. Peaceful mode is literally that. Okay, so I'm still in spectator mode. Let's go back to creative mode for a minute. <clears throat> so I can interact. Okay, so I've landed. Let me go back here. I think it was back here. Alrighty, so you can see that the turtles are still here. The turtles are not hostile. They will not hurt me. Hi, turtles. And I do think I'm going to stick around because turtles are hard to find. So there are two turtles right here. But <clears throat> what I mean by stick around is, um, so here's my little pillar of where we started. Minecraft worlds go on and on and on and on. They're infinite. Okay, so I'm not going to sit here and say on forever. But you want to take a look around before you decide where you want to set up your base, where you want to set up your um, center of operations. Okay. So there are no monsters. It's barely morning, but it is raining. So monsters would still be around, but those monsters disappeared because I put it in peaceful mode. Okay. So difficulty, like I said, easy and normal to me are not very different. It's just, um, there's an algorithm in the background that says how often or how many, um, monsters will show up and the monsters are not quite as like the skeletons when they shoot bow, uh, arrows at you. Maybe they miss more than they, um, are accurate. Hard is, a, a, is what it means, hard. So I'm going to put this back in normal mode for us to play. But of course, we're still in creative, so none of the monsters are going to pay any attention to us if they show up, if they spawn, okay? So what's happened is, um, I believe in hard mode, the monsters are a lot tougher. They're harder to kill by a little, by a little bit. I mean, this game isn't, you know, difficult. But um, as we get going, we're, I'm not going to play it in hard, but you can if you want to. But um, one of the things that monsters can do in hard mode, for example, is they can break down doors. They can't do that in easy or normal, zombies especially. Okay, so I'm going to go back to survival and talk a little bit about what we should have done in the first day of the game. Okay. So I think we're on the second day. Let's see. Yep, we are on. No, we're still on day one. Okay. Okay, we're in day one. Oh, I think every time I go in and out of creative, it'll reset my days. So we may be on. Unless the first day was day zero. I wasn't paying attention. So what we need to do when you first start a world is collect some resources to get going. Okay, so this is what we should have done when we first spawned in. But of course, I was talking a little bit. So the first thing we do is we gather some wood and I'll explain why wood is important. Okay, so as you can see, I have wood, but why am I going on and collecting all the wood I can from this tree? Once all the logs, all the wood parts are out of the way, the leaves sense that they're no longer connected to a tree and they start 
um, deteriorating. And as they deteriorate, they may drop saplings. And I am a conservationalist, so I like to replant what I took. So I took this tree, hopefully we'll grow another nice fat tree right here, okay. So what you can do with logs. You're gonna learn about recipes as we go along. But the first thing we need to do is create a way to make things, okay? When I hit E, you're gonna see that there's a small crafting table right here. And I can do things as long as the recipe calls for one to four items. So I am picking up my items. I just picked it up with a left click. I can drop them with a left click, but that's all six. So if I right click it, I pick it up by half. Okay. If I pick it up and then whatever's in my hand, I right click, I only put down one. This is all very important stuff. <clears throat> so I'm going to start with one thing. Okay, I'm taking a log, an oak log, and I'm turning it into four oak planks. So if you see the difference between the items, one is a wooden log with the bark on, and out of one log, we can create four pieces of wood. <clears throat> so we take the four pieces of wood and we put them back in my little crafting section in my inventory. This is just stuff that I can do by hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this crafting table. With this crafting table, let's put that back in our hot bar. You can't do anything unless that are in your hot bar. So I'm holding this. These are basically like my deep, deep pockets, which, you know, we girls don't have in real life. Okay, so wherever I want to go and put this down, I'm gonna stick to my tree here. And uh, see, if I break this leaf, see the sapling on top, it's gonna come with it. It's gonna fall down. Okay, and break that one, break this one, because I want that stick. All right, so it didn't give me a lot of sticks. Let me just go down here and make sure that nothing else fell. Sometimes things that fall off of a tree or fall off of leaves kind of fall far away from the exact landing spot. Okay, nothing further from that tree. Oak trees, don't ask me why, can drop apples, which is a great food source on your first, first day. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this out of my inventory by planting another tree that never was here. I'm going to plant it right there. This is random. I'm just picking places because they're aesthetically pleasing to me. Okay, so um, what I did, by the way, is a shift click. So instead of clicking and dragging or clicking and moving my items, I'm just holding down shift and clicking and it pops it from one section of my inventory to the other, pockets or hot bar, okay? So I'm gonna put, put down my crafting table. I'm gonna craft a few things I need. Now you can see that I easily punched a tree. It is um, well known. So I'm gonna say well known, that means to players, not to you guys who are watching on the first try, but um, don't make wooden axes, okay? Um, so we're gonna take the first log and turn it into sticks. Now I can do this in my hand, but since I've already got the crafting table open for some things we're gonna do. Minecraft is about mining. So the first recipe you're gonna have to know is to make a pickaxe. You've seen these, right, in the toy stores, the wooden pickaxe from Minecraft. So we're going to go ahead and um, show you this cheat. Okay, there's now a recipe book and you can turn it to things I can make now or things I can la make later. So I'm going to put things I can make now and all I can make are wooden things. I can make a shovel. I can, and this is just from what I have in my inventory. As I make more planks, for example, you can see that my um, options have expanded. I'm only going to make a wooden pickaxe and I'm going to go ahead and pick up my crafting table with my bare hand because I am that powerful. Boom. And I'm going to go and do some mining. Okay. 
And the reason that I'm only making the wooden pickaxes in about five seconds, hopefully, a little bit, maybe a little bit longer than five seconds, but I will be able to um, pick up some stone, cobblestone, and make a higher grade of, um, of tools. So I'm gonna go in here, hopefully I won't get killed by anything, but I'm gonna just start over here where I can see that there's some stone. What I'm after in this early part of the game is stone and coal. So what I wanna do is go ahead and continue to um, mine and get some of these resources. I haven't seen any coal yet, but the reason that I want coal is so I can make a way of lighting my way and hopefully not getting killed by a monster. So what I'm going to do now is run out because I don't see any coal right here in the early part of this. Okay, luckily this little mine shaft only goes down and dead ends. This is actually a surface cave, or in this case it's just a hole. And as you can see, it's getting dark again. Okay, so things are not going my way right now. And if I don't do something about it, I could die. So I think we, that was our second day. So day zero, day one, I saw in the distance, and I don't know if they're still there, some sheep, okay? So I'm gonna do something horrific, and you guys are not gonna like me much. I'm gonna have to kill some sheep because I did not, oh, that was so stupid, you guys. Oh my gosh, I have cobble. So I'm gonna make a stone sword and I'll show you what you do with your, uh, I didn't wanna do that. So I have to get over there. Hopefully I can get there and kill three sheep because I need three pieces of wool. I really didn't wanna kill any sheep until I found iron, I could have just sheared the wool. But it's, you know, desperate times, desperate measures. So a lot of uh, Minecraft folks, they don't care. They just, uh, kill their three sheep in the day to, uh, the first day. And um, I'm not going down that hole with that, okay? But I don't like doing that. I want my uh, sheep to hang around so I can uh, breed them, etc. But, oh well, things are what they are. I left my crafting table over there. That's why I'm not making my bed right now because my crafting table is on that little hill. And you can hear the, the monsters coming. So I don't know if you guys heard that little growl in the background, but that was the zombies arriving. All right. And hopefully I can get the bed made without a zombie showing up. All right. So as you can tell, it's been only a few minutes since the last time I said it was daytime and then it went to nighttime. The night cycle is the exact same as the day cycle. However, if you use a bed like I just did and slept, sleep in it, it makes the night pass in a few seconds. Okay, so until I have some way of fighting back or um, using armor or whatever, I am going to go ahead and avoid that skeleton, for example, okay? So I'm gonna take my little um, pickaxe with me and I'm gonna hopefully um, not catch his eye come back to my little hole and keep digging because you can see there's already something here that's copper I don't really care about copper yet the only good thing copper does for me is make uh, lightning rods in my book so I'm gonna go ahead and um, first I'm gonna peek over there again and see if those two little trees I planted have sprouted have grown doesn't look like it, but we have trees on this side too. One um, recipe that is important to know is <clears throat> that you can also make coal or rather charcoal from wooden logs. It's not a great way to do it. It's a kind of a waste of resources to me, but in the early part of the game, if you haven't found any coal, Making your own might be a good way to go. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is get some more logs.
and I think I saw an apple up there. So we're gonna go ahead and let this uh, tree decay. Okay, good. I can replant the tree right away while we're waiting for the leaves to um, decay. So first things first, I'm going to make a furnace, a stove. So it takes eight to make a furnace. And then I can cook things. So one of the things I wanna cook are these pieces of mutton. Later on when I get some iron, I'm gonna to need to smelt the iron down. So what I have to do is make some planks. Okay. One and a half planks can cook one log. So two can cook three. So I have four planks, which means I can cook six. All right. While that's cooking, it is daytime. So maybe, well, let's go and get one set of um, torches. So I got one charcoal that was cooking. One piece of coal or charcoal and one stick makes four torches. That makes sense, right? Some uh, Minecraft recipes are going to be very intuitive. So you're like, okay, I want a pickaxe. How can I, what formation of materials will make a pickaxe? Well, two, uh, oh, there's iron. Yay. One thing I do need, I need some more stone so I can make some stone products. Okay. All right, is this done cooking yet? All right, now that's done cooking, let's go ahead and pick it up. And rather than having my stuff that I need out here in the middle of nowhere, let's keep it with us. Okay, and I'm just gonna pop over here and see if anything fell. Yes, a bunch of saplings and an apple. So if you guys notice that my hunger bar is short one, I'm gonna go ahead and eat this apple. I could eat the mutton raw, but it gives much more, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, like it gets me fuller when it's fully cooked. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and plop down this crafting table and make myself a stone pickaxe. That's why I needed that third piece of cobblestone. So I'm gonna show you a couple of recipes and they're all these tools right here, okay? And I'm not gonna pick it up until I have this pickaxe. But basically a basic handle is two pieces of sticks. So if you take three stone, uh, cobblestone pieces, this makes an ax. That makes sense, right? That was our uh, pickaxe. If we take those away, that makes a shovel. If we use a short handle and two pieces of cobblestone, that one that's showing there is extraneous, we get a sword. So I have my little stone sword here. So back to the pickaxe. We want the stone pickaxe to pick up the iron um, ore here. So we want to make sure that we have the right level tool to pick up the right level of, um, of uh, ore. I think I could have picked this up. Let's try this with the wood. Nope, if it's going on forever like that one, it will eventually break, but it'll give you nothing. So I want to make sure I pick this up with a stone um, pickaxe. Okay. And now I want to make sure that I don't leave any hidey holes like this that's dark. So I can either fill it up with um, any material I might have, or I can light it up. What that does is it prevents mo monsters, mobs, from spawning in there and, you know, attacking me from behind. Great, um, so I have a couple of 
redundant tools and or mistake tools. So I um, want to cook these. I want to cook this iron. These materials are made of wood, so they can actually be a fuel. Okay. They don't cook very much. So I'm going to put them one after another in there. And let's see if they even cook one whole item. Yes. One to one ratio, not a great ratio. So I'm going to cook that up. I'm going to put these in here, cook those up. I technically only needed one. One piece of coal will cook eight things. I only have six, so that's all right. I'm hoping that my next thing that I do is I'm going to find some um, actual coal. So let's dig while that's cooking. You can see it's still cooking when the flame's on. So this was a beautiful setup for me. Um, I'm going to start digging down, but as you can see, we've already hit a uh, another cave opening. So I'm going to very carefully, so I'm going to show you guys a trick. Notice that I have this offhand. It's meant for a shield, but anything can go in my left hand, my offhand. So I'm put my two torches in there. Before I do that, I'm going to make more torches. So I happen to have four and four. It's perfect. I can put all my torches in there. So when I go to open this up, okay, Whatever's in my offhand is treated like a right click. And you guys see I have coal here. Okay, I'm gonna come back to that. First, I gotta go make sure that my working area is safe. And it's beautiful. It's got some of this new dripstone in it. I'm gonna come back. This is gonna be like my, my first base. So I'm gonna come back and um, get some of this stuff. All right. Oh, the iron has stopped cooking. So I have eight iron ingots. I need some more coal so I can cook up my meat. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this vein up and get some coal. Okay. If you guys can see or hear the little pinging sound and there might be a little green orb that flashes and goes into my inventory if you can see that I'm already up at level two, that's not game levels, guys. Um, that's experience levels. And that experience is, it doesn't do any good unless I want to enchant stuff. And we'll come to that in a later episode. So I just wanted to um, bring that up. If you happen to see the little bar down here, okay, see how I'm, I'm at five little green bars. But when this whole bar fills up, I'll be at level three. Okay, so I'm gonna all I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take this raw mutton and um, one piece of coal. I know that's kind of a waste, but I do want to um, cook up that mutton so I can eat it. And um, but I I did waste about um, half that piece of coal. All right. Why am I putting my bed down, you guys? Well, the sky outside shows me it's nighttime. So if I lay down, we can advance the night through. And then I can go back out and get some more wood. Why do I need wood? Well, you know what? First of all, I need... Let's make this into sticks. I don't need to use all those planks to make sticks. And I don't need all those sticks to make whatever I'm going to make. But I'm going to make my first um, axe. I said not to make a wooden axe but it's perfectly fine to make a um, stone and up ax because it will make chopping through trees a lot faster. So I have all this iron. The first thing I wanna do with iron is I wanna make shears. 
and a bucket. Okay, that's just my preference. I had eight pieces of iron. I could have made a chest plate and had my first piece of armor. So I'm gonna go out here, I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna go back in here where I know there's iron. I saw some, so here's some. Oh good, that means there's more iron behind. And there's a little bit of iron here. Let's go ahead and get it. Alrighty. Oh my goodness, that was a nice catch. Just happened to be walking by and caught the little flash of something there. All right, so I got my food. Let's throw up some more. Okay, it's going to take two to do that. Let's go ahead and see if I can find some more trees to chop down. So oak trees grow in a very um, interesting way. They either grow these four or five tall trunks with a very um, circular set of leaves, or they can grow um, big trees like that one up there where they kind of go all over the place. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some more wood. Wood's always handy to have around. We're gonna to need to make some chests to hold any of our extra things. And wood is the component, the ingredient, the material for that. Okay. So we're gonna come down here And we're gonna go ahead and make a few chests. Okay. So first thing, most, most, not all, but most materials, if it's made of wood, it's gonna be need um, to be converted into planks. So we're gonna convert four logs into 16 planks. The um, recipe for a chest is simply a box of planks, which makes sense, right? You're making a, a container. We're gonna make two chests. And the reason for me doing this, remember I've played for a while, so I know what I wanna do. One chest can be placed like this, and if you open it up, there's 27 slots. Or you can create a double chest by putting two chests right next to each other, and they will automatically merge into one single double chest. So I'm just gonna put all my stuff in here so I don't lose anything, okay? I'm gonna keep a few things in my carrying around with me inventory, but I don't wanna lose anything that I've been creating. Okay, so I'm gonna pause my actual gameplay here and talk about things you can do as a new or even seasoned Minecraft player. One of the things that may happen is as you create your first world, you might decide, ah, I don't know what I was doing, but I really messed this up. I should have done this, this, and this, and this on the first day. And instead, I've just been tootling around and um, I've been digging holes into the mountains and I've been you know, digging up the grass and it looks all horrible and I don't like it anymore. So I'm gonna create a new world. You can do that, okay? So. First things first, you go ahead and you hit escape. This is how you end your game anyway. So we're gonna save and quit to title. Now if it's dinner time or you just need to log off for the day because you've been playing 16 hours straight, you just hit quit game. But I don't want to quit game right now. I want to start a new world, okay? I didn't like that one. I didn't want to be by a beach. I didn't want to be in a jungle. I didn't want to be stuck on an island with no trees. Whatever it was that you didn't like about that world, they're all random, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and hit single player. That's my old world. That's the one we just created and didn't like. So I'm gonna create a new world. So I'm gonna show you a few things that you can do. When you create a new world, 
you can set your game mode and difficulty right off the bat. So I'm gonna hit this world name and call it demo two, okay? I'm gonna definitely allow cheats. So even if you don't know how to use most of the cheats, we haven't used very many today. You can at least switch game modes. You use, use slash, okay? We're gonna talk about some of these. But first of all, we're gonna to come to more, more world options. And the first thing you're gonna notice is the seed, okay? The seed is a numerical number, positive or negative, can be very short, very long numbers. Um, if you know of a seed that you either had heard of or seen on a YouTube video, you can type it in here. You can also type phrases the computer will, the game will convert it into a numerical number. So when I first started, I like to type in Mama May or Mama May 17 or May's New World or anything you wanted to think of a phrase that you could remember because if you remember it and you like it, you just really messed up the first one. They also change from version to version, update to update. We're already on 1.17.1. So if I had typed in a world and you can carry worlds over. So if someone, if you had created a world, you've been playing for a long time, you created a world in 1.8 or 1.12 or 1.16 and you liked it or you've done a lot, you've built roller coasters and replicas of New York City, you can definitely bring your world into each um, updated version of Minecraft. But your seed might create a different world now than it would have then. So just for fun, we'll create Mama May Plays Minecraft. I'm gonna create the world, then I'm gonna show you a way to find out what your seed is. When I show you that, it is not gonna say Mama May Plays Minecraft. But I'm not gonna remember some random string of numbers. But later on, when I wanna create another world of this seed, I can remember Mama May Plays Minecraft, okay? So I've done, I'm done here. I just wanna check here, it's called Demo 2, Allow Cheats, Create New World. So as we go forward, I'm gonna probably pick a specific world to do later episodes on, but today I just wanna show you, you can create a new world. So once again, if I hit F3, you're gonna see that I'm facing south. Okay, I kind of wiggled it a little bit, but I was facing this way when we landed, when we spawned. Um, new coordinates, this is a new world on this world. My coordinates are 236, 72, 198, okay. I like to um, have some way of knowing where my spawn point was. Instead of breaking ground and pillaring, I already have a thing right here. Okay, so I'm just breaking the leaves around it. Okay. I've already collected a couple of saplings and um, stick. Now I do need wood. I'm just not gonna collect that wood because that wood is my pillar. So I'm gonna collect this wood. <laughs> so yeah, I'm using a sapling to break wood. <clears throat> Minecraft mechanics, okay? You can break wood. There are a couple of really cute videos out there of Minecraft versus the real world where um, the content makers have done a funny um, comparison of a person punching a tree in real life and hurting their hand and a person punching a tree in Minecraft and getting wooden logs, okay? Alrighty, so I'm just gonna let that decay on its own. I've got a little bit of wood I've got a handy dandy hole right here. These are what we call surface caves, okay? So if I wanted to um, hop down there and, and go ahead and start gathering my building materials, I could do that. What I wanted to do for you guys is just kind of 
walk around and show you the world. I'm going to pop into creative. There's a shortcut to go into different modes and that's using the F3 and F4. Remember I told you the F3 key is very important. So F3, I'm holding down F3 and then I am hitting the F4 key. So if you guys are used to using alt tab on your computers, it's kind of the same for modes. So right now I'm going to creative mode. Okay, if I hit F3, F4 again, I'll hop back into survival mode. And that just toggles me back and forth. Unless I want to go to either um, spectator or adventure, then I would just hold down F3 while I hit F4 and it will toggle me over to whichever one I'm not on. Okay, so I'm just going to go into creative mode. Just so I can do a quick um, from the air exploration. So I think we were facing this pillar. So that's south. Okay. So I am on an island. <laughs> As I was joking around with you guys saying, oh, I don't want to be on an island with no trees. Well, this is actually an island um, taiga or spruce forest um, biome. So in Minecraft, we have multiple biomes. You can find out what you, what environment you're on by hitting F3, your F3 key. Okay. And so we're in a taiga biome. That's what uh, Minecraft calls a spruce forest area. Usually they're also mountainous. So as I'm going around, you can see that I'm now moving into a mountains biome. Okay. I'm going to go out into the water so you can see what we're in. This is a warm, lukewarm ocean. Lukewarm oceans are pretty nifty because they might have some interesting content inside the ocean. So yes, in Minecraft, you can even explore the oceans. Okay, I'm just kind of flying around. We're going from deep ocean to warm ocean. Okay. Lots of kelp to be seen. All right, so that was just me showing you we're in a different world, different um, environment. Those are goats. Aren't they cute? In a lot of the, um, the animals in Minecraft, they can make baby that animal. So if you see a goat, you might see a baby goat. If you see sheep, you might see baby sheep. And in the game, you can also breed them. We will come to that in a minute. What is this? This is a, what am I looking at? Some kind of a monument. And there's a, a chest in there that we can loot. Okay, this looks like it's an, um, uh, not a, not a ocean monument that's a big thing that we can play with but it should belong in the in the water okay we'll come back to that that's nice to have in this world all right so i told you that we use mama may plays minecraft as the seed look at all that coal right on the surface i don't have to go below ground to get but i do have to do some climbing if i wanted it so i'm gonna come and land not exactly sure where my tree was because that's not it that's a natural growing spruce tree type mine was a big old pillar with one piece of leaf on top so let me go see if i can find it yeah oh well it was in front of a big old pit too there it is there it is found it okay so i'm gonna pause and type in a command so if you were on a multiplayer server or even a realms you can hit T and you can type a message, okay? So that's your in-game chat. This is a single player world, so I'm only talking to myself. But to use commands, you hit slash. So you can either hit T and then slash, it doesn't matter. Or if you hit slash by itself while you're playing, it will open up the command line, okay? So we wanna type in the word seed. It will tell us what our seed is. So 16162 2021. 
that is a very interesting, nice and short little seed. I probably could remember that, but that is what Minecraft converted Mama May Plays Minecraft into. Why is this important? So one thing is, okay, that flashed on screen and disappeared. Well, it's also displayed in your in-game chat. So if I were to bring up T, it shows me my entire, um, everything that I had been using. Okay, there's a zombie coming. Excuse me for a moment while I, I could hear. Okay, see, see over there? The zombies don't like daylight. They burn in the sun. But it's getting on towards dark. I haven't done all my first day things on this world. I'm probably going to have to abandon this world because I messed it up already. But I like it. I like this world. I just want to start over. So what you can do is if you hit seed, in this case, I'm just going to hit T. You can take your mouse over to this set of numbers is actually highlighted. So I'm floating over it and it gives me this little um, prompt, click to copy to clipboard. So I'm just going to normal click and it's copied to my clipboard. So I'm going to abandon this world because I already messed it up. So I'm going to go and create a third world. You can do this one of two ways. If you're actually using a world you like and you just messed it up, you know, you blew it to pieces with TNT and you really want the original landscape back, you don't have time to rebuild it. Maybe you accidentally burnt a village, but you want that village. We'll talk about villages in another episode when I can find one. But we can do this. We can hit recreate. I'm going to hit recreate. I'm going to call this demo three. Cheats are on. Now, if I go to more world options, notice it does not say Mama May plays Minecraft. It says 16.16.2.2021. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and say yes. That's great. But I'm going to actually hit cancel. I'm going to hit um, create new world. I'm going to call this demo three. Okay, cheats on, more world options. Remember I copied that um, seed, I'm gonna hit paste, uh, control V, 16.16.2.2021. So if I hit create new world, this is where I can actually start a brand new world. And here we go. So I am going to go ahead and um, end this episode now. We have created three worlds, okay? And I am going to go ahead and um, say farewell. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can get notified when my next episode comes out. And I am definitely going to be continuing with the Minecraft basics so you guys can see how or what kind of things you can do or what your friends are doing when they're playing Minecraft. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.